Hi, my name is Gil Melmed. I'm at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. I'd like to spend a couple of minutes speaking with you about our manuscript, The Appropriateness of Concomitant Immunomodulators with Anti-TNF Agents for the Treatment of Crohn's Disease. One size does not fit all. I'd also like to show you our interactive website, which provides a practical application to our manuscript. The treatment of Crohn's disease has really been revolutionized with the introduction of biologic agents. However, the most appropriate use of these agents has undergone evolution over the last decade. Initially, we treated patients episodically, but then learned that immunogenicity was a factor. One way around immunogenicity, we learned, was to use combination immunomodulator therapy, such as 6-mercaptopurine, azathioprine, or methotrexate, in conjunction with anti-TNF drugs. Subsequently, safety reports emerged indicating that the combination of these drugs may increase the risk of serious infections and possibly lymphoma and maybe even hepatosplenic T-cell lymphoma, and specifically in patients treated with combination drugs. Since that time, we have the results of the SONIC trial, which has demonstrated that the combination of infliximab with azathioprine is clinically superior to monotherapy with either drug alone. Thus, when it comes to actually treating patients with anti-TNF drugs, the literature is confusing at best and possibly conflicting with the question remaining for the practitioner to use combination immunomodulator therapy with anti-TNF drugs or not. We aim to answer this question using the RAND appropriateness panel methodology. This methodology allows for incorporation of both evidence with a literature basis as well as expert opinion. We performed a comprehensive literature review regarding the use of combination immunomodulators together with anti-TNF drugs and presented this literature review to the Bridge Group, Building Research in IBD Globally, an international consortium of IBD investigators. The panelists then rated 134 different scenarios for the appropriateness of using concomitant immunomodulators. And then, in a second round, met in person to discuss discrepancies in ratings, followed by another confidential re-rating of each of these scenarios. In order to see at the point of care the results of the RAND appropriateness panel, we refer you to the www.bridgeibd.com website where you can access the link to mono versus combo therapy and then input patient characteristics to see the recommendations from the bridge group based on this study. When is it appropriate to use concomitant immunomodulators with anti-TNF agents? You can then enter in various patient characteristics in order to see what the group's determination was. So by way of example, we want to see what the recommendation would be for a patient who has been on no previous exposure to steroids, immunomodulators, or biologic therapy, with disease extent limited to the ileum and right colon with no more than 15 centimeters of ileal involvement, no fissure, fistula, or anal stricture ever, age 26, or younger, male, with a disease duration of greater than two years, and no previous intestinal resection. Entering all these characteristics, we then click Submit, and see that the group's recommendation, based on the literature and discussions as followed by the confidential ratings, is that concomitant immunomodulators in this setting would be inappropriate. One can then go ahead and enter clinical characteristics at the point of care on our website in order to view the recommendations for each of the 134 potential patient scenarios or to enter that patient scenario for the patient sitting in front of you. We make the disclaimer that clinical judgment should be used in all cases and that our website is not intended to replace clinical judgment, simply to provide the person on the website with the recommendations of the panel based on our manuscript.